Jake Ludington here with Matt Haynes from HP, and we're talking about HP Cloud. Why did you guys decide to get into the public cloud space? So, you know, I think at the uh, the real impetus for us to get in the cloud space was to 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 solve a problem for our customers. Right, we're we're the biggest enterprise company in the world. Our customers are demanding the ability to run cloud solutions at all different levels, and this is our this is our hybrid delivery model, right? From traditional uh, on-premise IT to private clouds to managed clouds, which we do all of those today. And the piece that was missing was the public cloud, the ability that customers, having done those, will also want to burst onto a public cloud, will want to run a full OpEx-oriented model, allowing us to, to, to take care of all the heavy lifting. So it really is a necessary function to complete what the customers want, uh, which is this hybrid delivery model that delivers cloud uh, at all levels. And in terms of doing uh, doing things for the benefit of the customer, what are the, the kind of the big challenges that you see um, developers having in uh, doing cloud deployments? You know, I think a lot of developers today, you know, like to have the uh, the 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 open set of choices for the languages and the tools that they use. So we put we put a lot of effort into building language bindings for all the you know for all popular languages today. Uh, they, of course, you know, we have access to our common REST APIs, but but going the extra mile to give bindings, uh, you know, command line interfaces, um, and a really rich, uh, you know, top of the line UI for a console integration um, is really, I think, important. Um, we're also going to be investing very heavily in the whole platform story for for developers to give them all the tools they need to both build and deploy and manage all their applications as they put them into the cloud. So it's a very key focus for us. Now there are um, obviously competing solutions to HP Cloud, mm -hmm. and those have kind of seen an ecosystem of management tools grow up out of a necessity. Yep. Uh, how are those tools uh, integrating with HP Cloud? So, so most of the most of the big names you would have in that space for doing things like orchestration and moving workloads around will will work with the uh, HP Cloud. We, they work today, and we continue to expand our partner ecosystem. Um, it's a very important part of our of our cloud is to have a very rich ecosystem. What else would you want people to know about HP Cloud? So I think you know I think it's important that HP Cloud you know you know we started obviously HP's roots are on scale. Um, we ship two PCs a second, two printers a second. We know how to do things at very large scale. And if you're going to get into a cloud business, I think you have to bring that knowledge. Um, so, so we understand the problems that you see at scale, and that, that's one of the things we're bringing to our, our business. I think another, I think another uh, interesting point is you know, we view the cloud as a, as a, as a fairly open uh, commodity, I think. You know, rather than you know, rather than have the uh, the lock-in that a lot of folks uh, say that uh, is an issue, we are trying to choose componentry that gives customers choice, uh, even among uh, uh, you know uh, potential competitors. So, for example, using uh, technology like OpenStack, which is a which is a real open standard for a lot of the stack componentry, is uh, is a is a choice of ours. Um, so, we, you know, we really are trying to address this need that customers want to have choice. They want to have choice around the, 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 the cloud, about, around the images they run on it. They want to have choice around the tools they use to access it. Um, and they want to have choices around these deployment models, right? The, the, the big thing that HP is bringing that, that, most, uh, that nobody else has really been able to do is that, is that hybrid delivery architecture all the way from traditional, all the way through managed uh, and uh, private and into public cloud. So that's a, that's a, a really dif uh, key differentiator for us. And that kind of brings up the point of, so you've got the, the private cloud, you've got mm -hmm. managed cloud, public cloud. Do all of those pieces fit together through the various HP consoles so that if I determine that initially I had something in a private cloud, but now I want to push it out to the public cloud, is that, is that something that I can manage fairly easily? That is definitely the, uh, the idea, right? That, that you know, today we all have some of our own co consoles, but they actually already start to work together. You can actually manage public cloud instances through our pri private cloud interface today. 
Um, the cloud system interface lets you actually create and manage those instances. Okay. So tying those pieces together so that a company really can um, move workloads throughout the different deployments that they that they either have purchased or are using from us uh, is is the key to this hybrid delivery model.